people always comment on when we're um, uh, starting the session. And I'm not going to deny there are people in our uh, uh, caucus that put through, that introduce several bills against uh, LGBTQ and um, transgender. Is that the way you see it? Uh, against transgender athletes? That I'm, So I'm not talking about the athlete portion right. right now. I'm just talking about in general. Um, for instance, there was some legislation that was in, uh, introduced to, um, uh, had something to do with, uh, uh, I don't know, something to do with conversion therapy, which I just find offensive. You know what? I think we should, everyone should just live and let live. Um, and so what, but the thing is, is when that legislation gets introduced by one or two people, it, it makes our entire caucus look bad. A lot of those bills come right to my desk as uh, chair of human resources. Those are not advanced. And so, and, and our, our caucus doesn't, doesn't support that and kind of And nobody's suggesting that this is about conversion therapy. And I'm, and I'm not talking about that. So I just wanted well, what I, 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 you didn't, we didn't talk about, we didn't talk about athletics before we started. I'm just making a general statement right. on what brings, what comes through our, what bills are introduced through our legislation, legislature. And that kind of thing does give, um, I think Republicans a bad name. Uh, I don't think so. That part of it, the other stuff does. Now, there was a transgender um, sport. I understand what you're saying about the athletics. And you know what? There is a different body structure to men and women. There are. The Gosh, muscles, really? What a surprise. The bone structure is different. The muscle mass is different. Um, and I think we can all agree that there are differences in sports. I just take, for instance, um, uh, running. Uh there are, I noticed when my son was in cross country, uh, the boys' times were always faster. I'm not saying that's across the board either. So I'm not, I don't want to discriminate against women. However, um, if there is a sport that's not co ed and there's a high school uh, impact as far as, you know, going on to college for athletic scholarships, we, as I, I, I can't think of anyone that wouldn't agree that it might not be fair if a biological. Not, I'd say that is, yeah, a if certainty. A biological male competed against a female in a sport, and maybe they're they're um, counting on athletic scholarships, or you were talking. I think I heard you speaking with Janice earlier. You were talking about state state events, state championships. Um, I I don't disagree with you there. Well, what, what I disagree the state with, do about it? what what I do disagree with, was some of the the one piece of legislation that was introduced um, required a internal and external examination of all of the members on a girls' team. I what? Yeah, that's right, and that's why that did not progress for, through our legislature. Um, that was a bill that went to the education committee, and um, and I always, I always tell you the the chair of the education committee is a friend of mine, and he has two little girls, and I think they're seven and nine. And he said, if that were the case, um, he he would just not put his girls in sports exactly because he does not want them to have to go through that type of an examination. It will kill women's sports. Um, Certainly, wrestling. So I agree that that we do need to address it. I don't think we need to address it in quite the invasive fashion that it was introduced in our legislature this year. Well, what's your idea? I don't have an idea on that. It, it, but it has to be it has to be so everyone on the team is not subject to internal and external examinations. Who put that in there and why? I don't know. And again, I don't. Couldn't sit that on the have education. just been removed in the committee process? 
It could have been, I suppose. I, and again, I don't sit on the committee. It did not progress. It did not get to the so point where it came to the house. So because of that silliness, the whole bill couldn't get out of the committee and be That's voted right. on? And there was a bill in North, <clears throat> I'm sorry, South Dakota. Is that Nome? Is that the governor Nome there? Passed both legislate. Uh, both chambers of uh, the legislature, the House and the Senate, went to her desk and she vetoed it because of certain um, overreaches. So, yes, it it does have to be investigated. It does have to be, we have to have a, a, a good bill on it, not, not a... Um, not no, don't say mean-spirited. Now you're going to sound like a Democrat. Well, I, you know what? I... I always look at these issues when we're talking about um, uh, this is a type of social issue, I believe. And I do always wonder uh, about the people who introduce these. And, and I always think, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus treat people differently because of any anything about them? Jesus would say, be who I made you. Would he? Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He'd say, well, I'm going to make you a man or a woman. But once, you, uh, once you've uh, progressed in life, you can change that immediately, and I'll be cool. Christ is love. There is no doubt about it. And I don't believe that Christ would uh, condemn uh, someone like that. But he expects us to use our heads, too. Uh, and I mean, uh, God gave us his rules. He commanded us to love. But we must lovingly suggest that if you have a surgery, that does not make you a different gender. If that were true, then Rachel Dozel, remember Rachel Dozel, who was masquerading as a black girl in Spokane. She was actually the president of the local NAACP. She, uh, she was found out to be a white woman with no African-American blood at all. And her defense was, can't I self-identify? I, yeah, I understand. I understand where you're going with the self-identification. So she identifies as a black woman, and she doesn't have a shred of African American blood in her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? What I should understand. we do? Should we stand up for the truth? Because Christ is the truth. I, I, I Christ is love and the truth. I, I understand. I'm, I will, I'm lecturing. My God, I'm in the pulpit. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying. I'm, I'm not going to fully commit to that. Uh, I, I, but this, but as far as when we get back to the athletics, um, I, I don't think it's a fair competition. I think everyone should be able to participate in sports, but if it is a single, um, if it is a single sex sport, uh, uh, there's got to be some fairness to the to the girls. There just there just does. And if if we have if we want. I, I I have no problems with transgenders um, competing uh, in in sports, but physically that needs to be a co-ed sport then. So I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't have the answer. I know that there are problems. Uh, I know there are problems with this. And I am going to tell you, I'm the last person that's ever going to discriminate against um, uh LGBTQ. I'm, I, I, Is it discrimination I'm to insist that we that you identify as your birth gender? Is that discrimination? Well, I'm putting you on the cross here. I, I I I don't. I I am not the expert on this subject. I I just again I have a lot, I have a lot of, um, from the past and present, I have a lot of, of, um, friends that are in, uh, single sex relationships. Mm. And I, I, <laughs> I, I just can't discriminate against that. I, I know think we're there, talking there, there, sports. I understand what the no, issue no, no, is. I, no, I, I think we need to refine this. No one's talking about single sex relationships or same sex relationships. <laughs> We're talking about men and women who want to be the opposite gender. Now, there are gay people, and neither one of those people wants to be the opposite gender, as I recall. I have never seen that discussed or complained about. If they are and truly, if, if a woman or a man is attracted to the same sex, okay. <laughs> That's been going on since time immemorial. It's in the Bible, for God's sake. This is something else. This is something unheard of. 
and it's not the truth. I and here I am beating up on one of my favorite people in my <laughs> and, in, in the world, and that's fine. And so I'll just I'll just end this conversation by saying no good piece of legislation was introduced to. Um, address this uh, high school athletic issue. Uh, I know it was. Yeah, I read, I, yeah.